reporters gathered on the steps of the Pennsylvania State Capitol in Harrisburg today, calling on officials there, they say, to count every legal vote. And they are literally and symbolically divided when it comes to the vote count. Our democracy is being threatened and voting rights are at stake. So many people fought and died for rights to vote and voting rights are at risk in this very moment. They're in peril. Tonight, he's alleging that there are new votes being cast after the election, uh, and there's just no evidence of that. Perpetuating the big lie is their way of stripping marginalized people, and in particular, communities of color, of their right to vote. <laughs> the new Pennsylvania project is about right now and about what we cannot miss. Too many of Pennsylvania's young and voters of color are disengaged from the democratic process. The lack of participation is an institutional failure. Adina talked to me about how this project would spend the time to find the missing electorate. The New Pennsylvania Project was founded in May of 2021 to transform and expand Pennsylvania's electorate and make it reflect the Commonwealth's demographically changing population. We need to make sure that everyone who has the right to vote is casting their ballot at the ballot box and we're trying to get them to register to vote. Based on the model of the new Georgia project and the work that was done by Ensei Ufat and Stacey Abrams, we're gonna make sure that we're out there doing this the old fashioned way. We're gonna knock on doors and meet people where they are. We're gonna talk to them about um, economic justice, educational justice, and closing the educational funding gap here in the Commonwealth. Where one community may care so much about raising the minimum wage, another's bigger issue might be policing reform. When you go into an elected official's office and you ask them to fix a pothole or put a stoplight where it needs to be, they're going to go and look at your voter file and find out if you're someone who's actually casting your ballot consistently. We have elected officials in Harrisburg who are trying to take our rights to vote away and put unnecessary barriers in front of them. There's people that are working two and three jobs and they just don't have time to go to the polls on a Tuesday in November when it's cold and they don't have childcare or they don't have um, transportation to the polls. We need to make sure that access to the ballot is easier, not harder. This is the time to take action. It's gonna take all of us. Register to vote and encourage others to do the same. Visit the new PAproject.org to learn more and join our fight. If everyone exercises their right to vote, their voices will be heard, not only in the halls of Harrisburg, but in the halls of Congress in DC. The new Pennsylvania project believes in low propensity voters' ability to become super voters.